Hello everybody, Manchester United 1, Fulham 2. This is a game which we have seen the real image of Manchester United, the real quality of uh, some of our players, the motivation, the actually the reason why certain players are not also put on the pitch, uh, are not in the first starting eleven due to their fitness, due to their incapability to to um, to, 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 to to game into the team, you know, to like, uh, it, it, it was just a, a total uh, shit show for, for me personally. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, guys, uh, we, this is some uh, player ratings and uh, yeah, we're going to make rate the players from uh, over 10. Uh, six will be our average, but I just want to tell you guys before we start that uh, Marcus Rashford, he ends to over 300k uh, a, a week and Marcus Rashford can't even run when he loses the ball. Some of you should tell me what that is. Bruno Fernandes. This is a player which have came in the first year. What we were talking, we're comparing him with one of the best players in the Liga, in the, uh, Kevin De Bruyne. But Bruno Fernandes can hold the ball. So uh, I don't want to. I mean, this this is one of those games that you can easily. If if Manchester United was a normal team, this was a game where Marcus Rashford had to be substituted. Bruno Fernandes had to be substituted. I don't care who comes in, but you know these are players we are hoping that they are going to make a difference. Uh, at least be collective as a team and we lose a game we I'm, but it didn't happen that way i'm not wanting i don't want to press too much er errors on these two players but you know united the biggest problem or reason why for some of you who keeps asking about why united can't play what is the system what's the style it's just because we have a bunch of players that were bought by different managers and uh it is just for some reason you can even if you merge them together it's very difficult for them to to, to 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 play a good football even in games where we win we don't perform even in games where we 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 come out with a three nil one three zero we it's not that i mean we don't dominate these are almost normally moments today game actually fulham deserved to win to be honest i mean when it was one one i was so happy and actually when i i saw the, the second goal i was so i was disappointed but i understood that well if you want to look at football it's at the, at the end of the day it's a game I love my team, Manchester United, but personally, I think uh, Fulham deserves uh, the, the victory today. I don't know what you think, but uh, yeah, um, uh, there are a lot of things that we have to talk about, guys. I mean, we'll talk about that as we move on in the, in the, in the week. I will give you guys my tactical my tactical well, knowledge, what I discover, five things we learned. Tomorrow, video will be out. But let me tell you this. For those of you who are saying Ten Hag out, you, you just don't understand what he's going through. Ten Hag is going through what Jose Miro you know, went through, not having the play, right players. Ten Hag is going through what Oligona Social is going through. Players are turning their back like Marcus Rashford. I just don't understand. Manchester United, we have to stop. There is This is the most important thing. I'm not sure people are talking about it. One of the things United needs to do in order to play very well, I mean, to play as a team, is to start kicking out players that thing they are more than the cloth. Do you know how you discover a player is more than a cloth? It's when he, he misses the ball and cannot even make an effort like Marcus Rashford. Please PSG, PSG, Paris Saint-Germain, whatever you are, please bring the 100 million euros and, we'll, and please, please, you should sell Marcus Rashford. I've said this even before the performance today, even when he scored, that Man Manchester United, Marcus, uh, Manchester United Marcus cannot play good football if Marcus Rashford and some will say Bruno Fernandes because he is, I don't know what he is. Is he an 8? Is he a 10? Is he a playmaker? A playmaker that cannot keep the ball, cannot hold the ball. And for some of you who have been criticizing in terms of attack, uh, attacking um, our uh, highest goal scorer, by the way, uh, which is uh, Rasmus Molan, our 9, you see his absence. This is a player who gives his opinion, uh, who gives opening for the attackers to play. His movement, his of the ball was very vital. And, and, and this is, it. I mean, there are many reasons to think that I need a, a, another year. I did a video about, about it on my shorts and shorts. But I just want to make you guys understand that when you have, when you're going to a season, there are certain players you count on. And uh, if these players don't play 50% of the state of the season, it will affect the way you want to play. I'm not back in Ten Hag. He has made his mistakes. I think there are certain players that Ten Hag are clearly afraid of um, uh, substituting, substituting them because the players have a very huge image. You can see that. I mean, it's, it's just it's just a shit show what's going on with Manchester United. Anyway, guys, um, uh, big up to all of you, the Fulham full full fans. United, I, I still think we have a very slight chance uh, um, to, to qualify for Champions League. I mean, I think after 15 years, uh, Fulham has uh, beaten Manchester United in Old Trafford. After 15 years, 
Fulham has beaten Manchester United. They have waited 15 years for this victory. This is a historical game for Fulham FC. But yeah, let's go with the player ratings, guys. Clearly, I'm my man of the match today. I could, I mean, if we had that at least a draw, a positive a draw would have been got for Ganacho. It made sense. But I think the goalkeeper who considered two goals was a man of the match. This is just to tell you that we had to lose the game today at least at three or four goals. The goalkeeper was the man of the match. And as much as like on the video, if you think Onana was your man of the match. That is it. So Onana for me, man of the match. I give Onana a seven. That is the only player I'll give a seven. And he considered two goals. I just want to tell you guys that. Harry Magwe, defenders, he's I mean, he had a yellow card. You can see that uh, his problem was the pace. For some of some of you who support Harry Magwe, you have to understand and see clearly why he's not used. If you why Harry Magwe cannot play for a top team. Yes, he's playing for Manchester United, but I'm sorry, we are not that top team. We're a big club, not a top team. You know, because Harry Maguire is slow, super slow. You can see where the goal, goal came out uh, through Harry Maguire. I mean, he scored his goal. That was fine. Harry Maguire, I give him a 6. 6, 6.5 is okay. Over 10 for Harry Maguire. Veran, 6. Yes, he was good. He did remove some, I mean, help us save some corner kicks. And I, I can't believe us playing against Totem. And Totem had such, I think they had over 7 corner kicks. I'm not sure how many corner kicks they have. This is a game which... Yes, I know we had players that were, uh, who were out for injury, but our ball possession, Manchester United had 757 against 43. Our dwell was 49 against 50 for them. So you can see it was a quite an average, average, average performance. And don't, don't, I mean, don't forget, this is a, um, this is a second victory for Tottenham in the season against a team that wants to qualify for Manchester for Champions League. Uh, it's a disgrace, guys. I don't know what you think, but it's a disgrace. And um, yeah, so going forward, um, Dalo, I give Devo Dalo Dalo also another six. I think he was uh, more capable in back uh, the defenders who were, uh, I mean, moving up and down and um, trying to play um, with um, uh, on his right wing and trying to be honest in his, in his possession. And one of the mistakes I think Ten Hag did was the, was if I was Ten Hag, I would have left Marcus Rashford on the left, uh, Ganacho on the right, because I think Ganacho and Marcus Rashford had played already. Uh, there was a chemistry between both of them. They could be more creative on the right. I mean, in football, you can if you can't win everywhere, don't twist things. You need to keep on setting uh, um, tactics. Uh, I mean, what I'm trying to say is Rasmus Holland is out. Marcus Rashford goes to to and play like a nine when he's used to playing on the left, and Ganacho goes, who has been playing all this while on the right. You don't need to twist a lot. I'm not the manager, but that is my opinion. And some of you might tell me what you think about that. Uh, uh, yeah. And, um, so, um, Menu, I think Kobe Menu, the games are coming quick and fast for him. A young player is playing already in his head. Kobe Menu, I think it's a 5.5. Uh, his standards, uh, I would go for another 5.5 also in the midfield. Our uh, midfield was so porous, we couldn't determine games. Look, we couldn't control games uh, for Casemiro as well. Uh, Bruno Fernandez, Bruno Fernandez for me, he was a four. The reason why I'm giving Bruno a four is not because he cried, he didn't, he didn't contribute. Four, five, anything is okay, but he is below average. Bruno isn't playing well. Bruno is one of the players that he is the captain. He has to be the leader. He is the guy that needs to take all the honors. But Bruno Fernandez, if you are honest, is not playing well. Bruno Fernandez, I give him an, an honest 4.5 or maybe five if you are on the positive side. Uh, Ganacho. Ganacho, he was the better player in the team. Ganacho, for me, at the left side, you can see when he loses ball, he will always want to come and defend. He was the only one who got it, the only one who wants to be part of that. He was one of the players that if someone had to change the game for me, I would think it was Ganacho. Uh, you could see that Tottenham, um, uh, sorry, you can see that Flo, uh, Fulham, they uh, personally uh, held, they, held, uh, they, they, held, they were very hard on him. I mean, physically, they didn't want to give him that chance because they understood the threat which he would possess in for them. And uh, yeah, so Bruno Fernandez, I told you it was a five or even a four, four, five, four point five or five, a five. Ganacho six, six point five. Any of them for me, it would be okay for him. Not a seven. And uh, Foso, who was his first game, I give him an average six. I think uh, being a young player playing such a game where they are, the demand for this is so high, it's not easy for such a young player. Just give him a six. It's not like he he deserved to have that, but you know, for psychology. Marcus Rashford would be a four. Marcus Rashford is a disgrace. Marcus Rashford. You, for some of you who talked about, oh, when a white person criticized Marcus Rashford, that it is racist. I'm a black. I love this guy. Remember his first game. He's one of those young players who took advantage, who took the, who grabbed his advantage when he was given a chance to play for United, and now he's a superstar. 
big up to him yes but today marcus rashford for manchester united is not working i think united needs to look very close to marcus rashford the modern game is not about stardom anymore messi and ronaldo our career is over the future of football if you're not ready to give in don't play sometimes it's better to tell the manager you're not in good shape and you come into the second side second time um, the second uh, second half and play or you don't play a game rather than playing a game and being that trash while when there's time to get a contract you want a massive contract so i think it's a disgrace for those who came in mctominy for, for some of you who knew who are asking why is mctominy not starting is because he's not a creative player i think the biggest part of the problem with manchester united is the lack of creativity the lack of creative player so all of this eat I, I don't uh, all this stupid idiot transfers i keep hearing on, on, on united are interested in buying a bakayoko buying a whatever if we don't if we are not in the market for creative players then let's forget it this is how we're going to play next season this then they, they which if they if those when you talk about in us going for a tactical review about manchester united if they are not there if they cannot see the sporting director the ceo they are not seeing that united we don't have creative players we cannot hold to the ball for 30 seconds or 30 seconds for 15 seconds hold on the ball and control the game then they are not doing their job so this is the biggest problem that problem that we have to solve as manchester united i think most of the fans we agree with it talking about looking about things talking about this uh, looking about looking on things on the short side like oh a player didn't play a game well or player didn't give a pass it's not what i'm interested in. i'm interested about what is the strategy and for us to change that strategy we need to identify the problem we lack quality players we lack quality players. without no quality the goal wouldn't come would come come you need to have uh players who who are who, who are ready to play as the team who understands that the club is not about them then before united will start giving uh uh, uh get, getting some results anyway uh the manager i think a manager for me is a simple uh, i mean i give 10 i get five five i five he lost the game i would have given him the six even if he won but i think our playing style was so poor i think ten half he is, he, I, I don't find it fair for him to be sacked where well, i did a video today in the car where i told you guys about Nigelsman which are uh, uh, journalists are behind this Nigelsman story, the Nigelsman story about Nigelsman coming to Manchester United, wanting to play for, um, coach Manchester United. But anyway, guys, Manchester United, um, Manchester United, one uh, Fulham, uh, two. Look, I still don't think in the cup game against Nottingham Forest, we're going to win it easily. We will have to go there with this, cr this crap team. The problem is the mentality, not even the players. The mentality of the player of the team. If the mentality isn't right, it's a fucking waste of time. So guys, tell me what you think below. Who was your man of the match? Uh smash a like on the video. Get involved with the United Way, guys. And uh, yeah, please share it to everybody, uh, every fan. And I would love to hear your view. Talk to you tomorrow and bye-bye.